All right, so convenience food today. We're just having some McCain spicy fries and some of the um, their president's choice local thing, I think. It says vegetarian breaded chicken strips. They are vegan. They're made with the Gardein chicken. And um, these are really good. Like, well, protein is a, is a big myth, obviously. You can see here it's got 16 grams of protein for four strips, so we're good there. Um, I mean, they're not like the healthiest for you. There's some fat content. There is some sodium for sure, but look at the, you know, look at this stuff. You got iron is loaded, thiamine, roboflavin, uh, your niacin, B6, folate, 100% of your B12, zinc. Things are pretty good there. Um, so, you know, it's just another one of those things where, you know, I think these might be fortified where we're in Canada. See if that'll focus again, yeah. Um, so it might be fortified with some vitamins and minerals, but yeah, I mean, it's easy. It's going to be yummy, and I don't have to do much work because we have other stuff to do. So anyway, back to my story about the grocery store. Uh, we were walking around getting our few items, and one came up to us, and um, she was handing out like free little mini chocolate bars to everyone and you know offered us like an arrow or something like that i don't know if they were trying to promote a particular product or if it was just one of those things where they're just you know handing something out for free to a customer or whatever but um uh, you know i said that well we can't have them thanks anyway she's like oh are you like diabetic or something and i explained that we were vegan and um you'd see like the instant look of kind of well, what does that mean? So she's like, oh, okay. So there's a difference between vegetarians and vegans then, right? I explained what the differences were, you know, no animal products at all. And instantly you can like see her just kind of looking at our cart, you know, looking at the stuff we're getting. She's like, oh, well, oh, you can get all this, and, you know, like talking about fries, talking about hummus, talking about, I don't know, there's a few items that she said and I'm like, well, yeah, you know, it's only potatoes and spices or, you know, the hummus is just chickpea and, you know, some spices and stuff. And I was like, it's really not that bad. Like, it's it's insane. Like, look at all this food we can still eat. So, yeah, it's it's amazing. And I don't know. It's just one of those situations where an opportunity came up very naturally to, you know, kind of explain the differences of vegetarianism and veganism and kind of where it's, it all comes together. And yeah, she was really pumped about it. I mean, she was looking around in our cart and just very happy with, I don't know, you could tell she had learned something and was, um, I think pretty happy to have learned it. It seemed that way anyway, she was really receptive and, um, so yeah, uh, you know, we talked for a couple of minutes and then, um, but it was, it was pretty good, but yeah, anyways, just kind of wanted to share that. Um, I guess the point of it is if you find yourself in a situation like that, where you have a chance to, I know some people maybe think, well, I don't really like to say I'm vegan or whatever, but I think that if you're given a chance like that, where it comes up naturally, where, you know, someone's offering you like a piece of chocolate or something or a sample in a store, and you say, oh, no, thanks. I'm vegan. You know, it just that's a normal thing. Like, I don't think that that's, um, I don't think that that's being pushy or putting it out there. That's, that's saying no thank you and, and giving a reason why. And it creates an opportunity. If people are interested to ask you a question, they'll do so. And if not, well, that's fine too. But, um, you know, it's a chance to educate without having to go out with a big banner and holding a sign up. So, um, although I do wear, a lot of vegan related shirts and they open up conversations as well but you, you don't have to do that obviously but um but yeah anyways so no uh, eat to live recipe test today just something different uh, i've got way too much to do and not nearly enough time to do it and neither of us were really feeling all that well yesterday so we didn't get much done so um but i'll call it a day for now guys and we'll see you next time bye